giving you smooth, clear, cute. Yeah. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, y'all. So, in today's video, y'all like the pony? I'm loving the pony, but in today's video, y'all, I am going to be finally doing a new skin a new skincare routine, letting y'all know what I'm doing, um, why my face, it been going through the motions, but overall as well, I only been having breakouts when I'm like stressed out or on my period, but all of the things that I use will help your face stay clean, hydrated, and acne free. So. We gonna go ahead and get started, y'all, and yeah, let's get into the video. So for starters, y'all, we gonna go ahead and put this wrap around our head because we not into making our hair look crazy. So we just gonna wrap this and get all the hair out the way. Okay, so y'all, for starters, I already have this little patch on my face i don't know if you guys can see and basically what this is is a i believe it's called pen quail i don't know i might even try to pronounce it but this is what it is it's basically a blemish spot corrector and you put it on overnight and once you take it off your pimple is either gone or it decreases which um it definitely does for me and i want to show you guys what it looks like when I take it off. So, I don't know if you can see, but the skin looks fine, but I'm gonna show y'all what the little patch looks like once you take it off. You can literally see the stuff on here, look. All the things you see on here is what came out of my pores. We're gonna start with first things first, y'all. I'm going to cleanse my face with this Noxzema cleanser. Now, this is used to cleanse your pores. It is a deep cleanser and it also is supposed to clear up any acne and dirt and oil that is on your skin. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and start off with. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands. So y'all, I just go ahead and I pat water all over my face. After that, I take the Noxzema cleanser, pour some on my hands, and then I rub it, scrub it into the skin. Y'all, this texture of this is very, very, very moist. I love it. And it's kind of different from a normal cleanser, but it definitely does what it needs to do, y'all. If you guys know me, I swear by Noxzema and I stand by it. But after I rub it in, y'all, I literally take the water and rinse it right off in circles. And I continue to do it until it's all the way off. Okay, y'all. So what is next is I have this Indian clay mask. Um, I have been literally using this for a while. I'm going to show you guys how much is even left in here. It's almost gone. What this does is, it's a great cleanser for one, but it also, if I choose to place this anywhere on my skin and I leave it, I will see a difference within literally two days of how my skin look. I have been using this for a while, but I will say, I used to use this with water. What I learned is, what I have in this little spray bottle, this is apple cider vinegar. I used to always use this with water, y'all. You can tell the difference a little bit. When I start using this with apple cider vinegar, my skin cleared up immediately. So, 
I'm gonna show y'all how I make my little concoction and I'm gonna put it on my face. And then once I put it on my face, I let it dry. Once it dries, it gets a little hard and then you rinse it off. So we're gonna go ahead and start mixing it up. I told you guys, this is apple cider vinegar in here. Pour it on top and it starts to like kind of fizz and foam up. And once it does that, you literally just mix it on up. Okay, y'all, it's time to apply the mask. I love this part. Okay, y'all, so now that I have placed it on all the main areas where it really needs to be placed, I'm going to wait for 10 minutes and let it dry, and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so you know it's a little dry, definitely dry, when it's kind of tight to talk. So I might be talking a little weird or not that loud right now because it's tight, but hopefully you guys can see what it's looking like. It gets very, very, very tight. So... When I rinse this off, y'all, I use my hands with warm water and circular motions. I never use a rag unless I wipe it off majority first or I'm rushing. But I would not recommend using a rag because this is a little rough on your skin. So use your hands, go in circular motion. And just in case, if you didn't know, it is pretty tough to get this off. So you'll be scrubbing for a while, but it's worth it. So you guys, after I washed it off with my hands, I like to take a cold rag and I'll just squeeze a little bit because it's so, but I'll just pat cold water into my skin like this to help go ahead and close up them pores. So we'll do that. And then you guys, afterwards, I like to use this face roller that I have. What this does is it helps regulate your blood flow and it also takes out any poofiness that you have. So like for me, I have under eye bags. Um, fortunately, I love my bags now. They're a part of me, they're a part of who I am. But when I was younger, I didn't used to like them. But what I learned is that they're genetic. So mine is not going away, they're here to stay. So I have no choice but to embrace them. But this is supposed to help with the swelling on your face, any puffiness that you have, and it regulates the flow of your blood in your face. And some also say that it helps with brightening your skin. If I was you guys, I leave this in the refrigerator. So when I roll it out on my face, it is very cold. And one thing about that mask is if you don't take it off all the way, it will be on your face, so make sure you do a good job taking it off because I see that I have some left, but yeah. So next is we're going to go ahead and use this CeraVe or CeraVe. Um, Y'all know me. I suck at trying to explain what the pronunciation of things are, but what this helps with is smoothing the skin, exfoliating the skin, and also smoothing it out, bringing back oil. Because I use the Indian clay mask, y'all, it's very drying, and you do need something that go in after to clean it. So this is what I use. So we're just gonna go ahead. I pat my face with warm water once again. And then I 
nice it on my hands. One skirt will be enough because you want to see when I put this on my face. Look at that. Now that I have placed it all over my face, I'm going to rinse it right off, you guys. It doesn't have to stay long. I just wanted to cleanse off anything that was left on my face. So, here we go. What the? What is happening right now? Why did I just blow a bubble with my nose? <laughs> As you can see, it's definitely a little soapy. Oh my God. It's giving, it's giving you smooth, clear, cute. Yeah, but we're not done. So <laughs> what's next you guys is, I normally would go in with some toner which you can use this if you want to. Today I am not because I'm gonna show you guys what I used last night and why I'm not gonna place the toner on, but I want you guys to get these still for your skincare routine. Just use them properly and I'm gonna explain it in a second. So, what I've been using for the past couple of nights and I'm not over exaggerating y'all, I only use this for a couple of days and I literally already tell this the difference in my skin. I want all of y'all to go get this Icolic Acid, I believe is how you pronounce it. And um, this is the brand Ordinary. You only use this at night, you guys. And basically what it does is clear up any acne that you have, but it also clears up your discoloration. So from your pimples, most of the time it will leave a little mark down there. This, this is what helps with that. So I'm not gonna put any of these on right now. I use this only at night because you're not supposed to go out in the sunlight after this. So only at night when you're getting ready to lay down, put this on and do not go outside in the sun, okay? So I don't need any toner because I placed these on last night. So we're gonna skip past that step, but that would normally be a step for my nighttime routine. So now, what I do to moisturize you guys is I am using this product from Ordinary again, y'all. I don't know how to pronounce this. I believe it's called Niacinamide. I don't know what the hell this is called, but this is what I've been using, you guys. Hopefully you can see it well. What I do is I place this all over my face and I tap it in. So you're going to see me do it. You know, you get a little, mm -dum -dum, okay? And then you're gonna place, don't be stingy now. Give yourself a little glob on each side, on your forehead, and then, it's gonna drip a little bit. So after that, what you do is, you literally go in and you tap it all over your skin. Now for me, sometimes I end up rubbing because it's a habit, but you're supposed to tap it into your skin and it's going to end up drying out by itself. For the last but not least product, we are going to be using this Aveeno Daily Face Cream, y'all. This leaves my skin feeling very hydrated, y'all. My face haven't been dry since dry was a thing. Okay, but with this, you guys, you don't need a lot. Literally, a little glob because it's very much so movable. Okay, you just need a little glob, and I rub it into my fingers, and then I rub it into all over my face. And I know y'all see that glow.
So you guys, this is all for the skincare routine today. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. If you are returning, thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, and if you are not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Get all of these products. I'm sure you guys will love it. All of these are very affordable, and I love you guys so much. Bye!